Well, every year we get to see the biggest thing that happens in gaming, that is E3 press conferences. However, since the pandemic hit in 2020, the physical E3 press conferences did not happen. And it looks like even this year E3 is going to be cancelled. Well, only to be replaced by the digital version of E3. And it looks like E3 is in its last legs because a lot of publishers and companies are doing their own version of E3. One of those companies is Microsoft because Microsoft wants to do their own E3 style press conference as they did last year as well. And they're going to do this particular press conference on June. This information actually comes from Jeff Grubb from VentureBeat who talked about how Microsoft is planning to do an E3 style press conference on June. They're basically talking to their partners and also some of the acquired companies that they have to bring their games into this particular press conference. Will Activision be a part of it? I'm not so sure because the acquisition has not completed yet will be completed by 2023 so I would not expect them to showcase any games but definitely there will be games from Bethesda and many other indie studios and more and I believe it won't end only with Microsoft I think more game developers and publishers will be doing their own versions of E3 like Ubisoft maybe EA maybe Sony and much more well we all know that Jeff Keighley is hosting Summer Game Fest so there will be more games showcased over there maybe some major games will also be showcased over there Speaking of new games, Dead Space Remake seems to have been sort of delayed till early 2023. It first came out from Jeff Grubb and then it was confirmed officially by the Dead Space developers Motive who are working on the game that the game is going to be releasing on early 2023. They also had a stream about Dead Space Remake where they showcase the audio improvements that they're going to do. They would take the ideas of the original game and improvise it to make it more realistic. These included weapon sounds, environmental sounds and the game's protagonist reactionary sounds. The biggest change was the Alive system which showcases how Isaac's breathing is affected by the gameplay whether he is on low health or he gets jump scared to increase that immersion. Another cool thing is based on this Alive system, the dialogue delivery will be different based on his current state. According to EA, there will be another Dead Space remake stream where they will be talking about the visual design of the remake. Most probably they're going to take a look at the original and improvise on it and make sure that Dead Space remake visual still sticks similar to how Dead Space original was. To be honest, Motive, the studio of EA who is working on this Dead Space remake, really wants this game to be as similar to the original game because they're working around with the Dead Space community for the first time. They're literally talking with the Dead Space community. So yes, I believe that EA Motive can definitely pull this off. And speaking of pulling off, it looks like the game director of the Perfect Dark game, Dan Neuberger, has actually left the studio. According to his LinkedIn profile, he's no longer working in the company and is flagged as looking for work elsewhere in design or director role. Dan has worked in the initiative that is the developing company of this very game for four years and was previously the director of Tomb Raider series made by Crystal Dynamics, who is also collaborating on Perfect Dark. The Perfect Dark director's exit marks at least the second major design departure on the project in the past 12 months. In February 2021, Perfect Dark's design director Drew Murray announced that he had left the initiative to rejoin his former company that is Insomniac Games. So the biggest question is these two guys who have major roles in the company have left the studio. Is Perfect Dark in big trouble? Well to be honest, maybe, maybe not because we do not know the process. According to the sources, it looks like there's still a lot of veteran people working in Perfect Dark or working in the studio. Not only that, Crystal Dynamics is still working alongside with the studio to help them you know, push this game out. Unfortunately, we have only seen a cinematic trailer as of yet, but maybe it could be possible that a new trailer or a gameplay footage might be showcased in the Xbox E3 showcase this year. And it's still very early to say how the Perfect Dark game would be. So in the end, we will have to wait and see how the game shapes up to be. Well, those were the biggest gaming news of this very week. Check out some of these videos that you might have missed about more game news and game reviews. And definitely subscribe to watch all of these every single week.